Many times the last thing I do before I sleep is to hand over all my thoughts and concerns to God. This often brings a peace that calms my mind and prepares my heart for rest. There is something deeply comforting in knowing that even while we sleep, God is at work and watching over us. Excerpt from the book Letters to Malcolm Chiefly on Prayer At the end of the day, we sometimes need to let go of the burdens we carry in our minds. How about ending your day with a beautiful prayer? Let's dive into the scriptures with this powerful prayer that can be said every night before bed because if there is someone who knows everything we go through and can give us comfort and care for us, it is him. In the book of Numbers, chapter 6, we find a passage of scripture known as the priestly blessing. It begins in verse 22 with the words, The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, before we go any further, I want you to believe that the Lord is speaking directly to you as you hear the next verse. Open your heart and receive this blessing contained in his word. Verses 24 to 26 say, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. If you wonder what these blessings mean, or how the Lord can make his face shine on you, know that it represents being under the protection of the Almighty God, our Saviour. You are blessed to enjoy divine favour, like a loving father smiling upon his children. You receive loving mercy because our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, died and rose again for the forgiveness of your sins. You have the privilege of hearing that the Almighty God will supply all your needs. Today I want to assure you that God will comfort your heart, take care of your family, and give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. More importantly, the Lord offers you eternal life, so increase your faith and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, tonight we turn our eyes to you. We reach out to you, Lord, so that your name may be honoured and exalted above any other. Lewis says, I believe in Christ as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. We commit everything we are to you, Jesus. May your mercy and grace be revealed to us. Your word in Psalm 4. 8 says, in peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Father, I declare that this verse is true. I believe and speak of a heavenly calm and serenity in the midst of all my troubles. May your peace dominate my soul, Lord. I trust that you hear my cry. As your word says in Numbers 6, tonight I pray that you bless and keep me. May your face shine upon me and the Holy Spirit invade my surroundings. Lord, even if I feel tired and weary, I look to you with the confidence that you are a God who never sleeps nor slumbers. Lewis says, Faith is the art of holding on to things your reason has once accepted, in spite of your changing moods. I ask that you watch over me, being the shepherd of my soul, the giver of life, and the one who blesses. I thank you for the gift of life and the breath that sustains my existence. Lord, I invite your presence into this room. I welcome your holy presence, Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for your protection. I thank you for your angels who watch over me. I welcome your presence that encamps around those who fear you. As a child of God, I am safe in your arms. My life is hidden by the blood of Jesus, which never loses its power. I am confident that nothing can snatch me from your hand. There is no darkness, danger or threat that can reach me during the night because you are my fortress and shield. Lord, you are our strong tower, bulwark and protector. 
I thank you for your faithfulness today. Thank you for keeping me, Father, and because you are with me, every day is a good day. Even when things don't go as planned, I trust that everything is working for my good. Lewis says, Our Lord finds our desires not too strong, but too weak. We are half-hearted creatures, and for all the times I was aware of your help today, I thank you for all the times your unseen hand protected me from evil. I thank you, Lord, for all the times you worked behind the scenes, turning adverse situations in my favour. I thank you, Father. Help me never to forget that you promised to be with me, even in the most difficult times. Lewis says, God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. Father, help me not to worry about finances, work, family problems, or the state of the world. Instead, help me cast those worries into your arms. Keep me away from anxious thoughts and help me hand all my concerns over to you, Father. I want to trust that you will resolve everything. Your word in Proverbs 3.24 says, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. I believe my sleep will be free of disturbing cares and fears. My mind will be governed by a peace that surpasses human understanding, serene because of your presence, Father. I pray to learn to take every thought captive to Christ and to reflect on your love and grace. Lewis says, He is present everywhere, and the most holy souls are those who are most aware of his presence. I pray not to take your love for granted in my mind and actions. Father, I pray that my thoughts are filled with divine things. May my dreams be heavenly, filled with all that is excellent and worthy of praise. I rebuke the spirit of fear and any attacks from the enemy in the form of bad dreams. I pray for heavenly dreams, Lord, dreams that will make me wake up renewed in body, soul and spirit. Speak to me, Father, even as I sleep. I invite the Holy Spirit to minister to me. Lewis says, Believe in God, and he will make you believe more and more, until your faith becomes like the light of the sun. Lord, keep us safe tonight from all dangers, illuminating the darkness with your perfect peace. We are unworthy of the grace, love, and mercy you show us. Thank you for your power, and work in our lives. I thank you for your goodness and blessings upon us. I thank you, Lord, for taking care of my family and loved ones. I thank you for the strength you give me every day and for the people around me who make life more meaningful. Thank you for blessing me. I am grateful because when I am weak, you are strong. And even if the devil is scheming, I trust and believe that I have victory because of you. If God is for me, who can be against me? Give me a measure of your strength, Lord, so that I do not give in to discouragement. I am not deceived by this world and do not doubt my faith. Help me to honour you in all my ways, Lord. Almighty God, we bless your presence in our lives. We praise your abundant mercy and grace. We thank you for your faithfulness, even when we are unfaithful. We thank you for your goodness and unconditional love, even when we take your love for granted. Father, I speak in faith and thank you for healing me and removing anything that causes sadness, stress or sorrow in my life. Grant me peace of mind and, if it is your will, strength to endure any trial. Calm my troubled heart. Walk with me, Lord. I invite you to remove anything in my heart that might take your place on the throne of my life. I pray for your glorious light. I pray to be filled with your light. Help me to walk in your light and live by faith. Help me to walk by faith, not by sight. Watch over me tonight, Lord. Tomorrow is in your hands, and I will trust in you. Surely goodness and mercy 
will follow me all the days of my life. May your presence never leave me. Holy Spirit, be with me. May the blood of Jesus cover me. I thank you for hearing this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Don't forget to share this prayer with those who need it. Lewis tells us, God cannot give us a happiness and peace apart from himself because it is not there. There is no such thing. If you can share, know that you are helping not only the person, but also yourself, for this is his will in the book of Mark. 16.15 He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We are part of the Lord's work, and we must commit to his purposes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. May God bless each of you. See you in the next video.